I have been in this country since April 2007. I would very much like to remain here. I am happy here. I am married and I have two children. One is 21 years old and the other who was born here is four years old. He is a South African citizen and my wife and oldest son have permanent residence here. We, as I have said, are happily resident in South Africa and in fact in the suburb of Bedford View, a suburb of which we are proud to be residents and a suburb for which we care very much. I cannot speak and do not speak either about the extradition application which has been brought by the Czech Republic, nor can I speak about my application for refugee status in this country. I am hopeful that this country's authorities will grant me refugee status. I have for a long time remained silent, not because I have had nothing to, to say, nor because I am involved in any of the many wrongdoings and alleged criminal acts about which there has been much speculation, but because upon legal advice I am limited in the topics that I can speak about to, to the press because I do not want to affect the extradition application or the refugee status application in any way. The time has now come for me to at least say something about the wild and irresponsible speculation in the press about my involvement in the recent murders that have taken place of my friends. I must immediately point out that there have been two attempts of, on my own life and also point out that someone is presently under arrest and in prison for, for conspiracy to murder me. The two attempts on my life had been well publicized. The first was outside the office of Moneypoint. This involved a motor car that had been rigged with crude guns and operated by remote control. The other was a recent bomb blast, which I assume was aimed at killing me. Unfortunately, two friends of mine died and another two friends of mine were severely injured. It is highly irresponsible of the media to speculate on the one hand that I have any involvement in the incidents in which my own life was or could have been at risk and on, another, and, and on the other hand to link the death of any of my friends in other incidents to me. I want to categorically state that I have had no involvement in any of the killings that the media have been so freely speculating about. The South African Police Service is, in particular, in relation to these sorts of crimes, very capable of conducting sound investigations. I am sure that if there were any evidence of my involvement, the South African police would have found such evidence by investigation. There is no evidence because I am not involved and have not been involved in any murders of anyone. I do not know there is some common thread between the death of my friends and the attempt on my own life. I am as puzzled as the public should be about these deaths. I am not even certain if there is actually any connection between any of these incidents. I am very disappointed that the media continuously paint me as the bad guy and seems to relish or enjoy painting me as some sort of evil gangster or outright criminal. I am none of these things. I am a family man seeking refugee in, the, in a country that I have come to love and respect and in which I wish to remain. I find its society to be cosmopolitan and democratic. I have in my time traveled a lot and it was with great delight that I discovered the wonderful nature of the South African people in general and of the strength of the democracy in this country. I think many people in this country should take a look around themselves 
and appreciate the very great merits that South Africa has to offer as a country with this climate, its unique society, and its strong democracy. I think many South Africans do not appreciate the wonderful country that they live in. In my view, South Africa is the best country in the world to live in. My suburb Bedford View is very close to my heart and it pains me greatly to hear the various wild and unjustified, unjustified allegation, allegations being made against me. For those people who have got to know me personally, then no, they know that they have a close and loyal friend who goes out of his way to help his friends. I am friendly and a steady person. Those who know me even slightly are as amazed as I am at the unjustified and wild speculation in the press about me. In fact, I am by nature a polite and humble person. I repeat, I have not been involved in any of the crimes about which there has been such unre unreasonable and unjustified speculation. All of that speculation is based on gossip and rumor and is without any foundation. One of the chief persons responsible for the rumor, gossip and speculation is the so-called private investigator Paul O'Sullivan. I have and my attorneys have had occasion to interdict Paul O'Sullivan from threatening us. Quite what his agenda is against me and why he had such a, an agenda is very difficult to understand, but the public and the media should be very careful about relying on anything coming from Paul O'Sullivan. The man is simply not a trustworthy source of, of information. There is much that I would like to talk about to explain where I, where I come from and how I came to be here, which I cannot go into upon legal advice, which I have accepted. I look forward to the day when I will be free to share my story with South African public, which I cannot at the moment do so, that I can be better understood and I can undo the great harm that has been done to my reputation. That is as much as I can for the time being say to you today and I would ask you to look critically at the unbalanced reporting taking place about me in the future.